Hey, welcome back to another episode of Roll with the Punches. I'm with Jason Henley. Yes, sir. That guy. Look we at God. It. Look at God. Yes, sir. Just, <laughs> dropped, just dropped a single on the 23rd, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Put a video out, produced it, the first thing from the album. No big deal. Check that out it's on all platforms. Look at God by Jason Henley. Yours truly. Appreciate you guys having me. My my friends, my, my brothers. How, yeah. y'all, how y'all doing? I'm chilling. I'm vibing. You know I mean, PG the Pine God. I love it. Yeah. I love it. The Pine God. You'll see that shirt out oh, in Tulsa. Uh, happy Cinco de Mayo. Uh, oh, yeah. Cinco for, de Mayo. Yeah. It's good shit. Uh, oh, also, I want to say something real quick. Go ahead. I was reading on Instagram today that there's like an indigenous, and excuse me if I'm not speaking on it correctly, but if we're, um, I need to look it up. Basically, there's a bunch of uh, indigenous women that go missing every year, and this day is like to re- like pay remembrance and awareness to that, and like they're like human trafficking, abuse, okay. and no. like, rape, and like oh, wow. murder, yeah. all types of shit. Yeah. And they're talking about like native people. One of my one of my homegirls is native, so she yeah. posted it. And it made, I read the post. So anyway, it, I just wanted to shout that out real quick. Cinco de Mayo isn't all about. You know, the Mexican shit. independence and all this Americanized yeah. bullshit. It's also about remembering some other shit that's like real shit. And like, you know, yeah. showing you know solidarity so with that kind of shit. So, yeah. Number one, this is the same thing for that April 24th shit. I told girls, if y'all have a problem, let me <laughs> know. For sure. Let me know. Because, like, yeah. April 24th was like a thing going on on TikTok, like National Rape Day. Yeah. Bitch, I'll beat your ass. Mm. I swear for, I, on the words of my Uncle 2 Chains, I swear for God. If I found out somebody that I'm cool with, not even, just, no, not even girlfriend, just anybody that I fuck with as a female, mm-hmm. uh, that she's getting harassed on some shit, like, nigga, I'm sorry, bro. I'm to the point now, especially with, like, how this year started to so that bullshit. Like, bro, I'm angry. Yeah, you getting slapped, bro. Like, like I'm finally a sexual coming, abuser, bro. You bro, getting slapped on site, bro. It's I'm weak. coming into... Hey, I'm coming into that, uh, I'm coming into my natural angry black man yeah. role of life. I'm 26. Yeah. So I'm a year into the OG realm. Um, <laughs> I thought I'm 20, beating the fuck I out thought 28 was OG, bro. Cause no, I'm 25. Here. You make it past 25. God damn, I'm almost four years in this hoe. Hey, man. Shit. That's, hey, it ain't nothing but the NFL patch with a C on it. With like how many stars are highlighted underneath the C. That's exactly what that is. But no, in all seriousness, Thanks. man. Like for real, for real. <laughs> um, I'll fuck you up. Especially for people like, uh, shout out to Maddie Haley. Um, that's the one she showed some shit on Twitter today. But yeah, that's the homie. I'll beat your ass for her. Um, don't let it be family members either. Shout out to Tavia, Alexis, Ashley. Um, I, everybody that's a family member that I actually for fuck sure, with. Sure. Like, I don't want to name drop too much, but like women, in general. Man, gotta respect women. Women in general, but I'm talking about the ones that are close. Yeah, man, that's yeah, I'll yeah, beat yeah, your yeah, ass, bro. Yeah, yeah. For sure. Um, that shit lame. But then also at the same time, I also want to show the fact that Cinco de Mayo has nothing to do with Mexican independence at all. Oh, I didn't know that either. Bro, I was told by a uh, shout out to Hazella. Um, we used to work with her. We, but we she, waking up, man. <laughs> she really, yeah, bro. That's what I'm like. I don't ever want to be mad at you. Like, and they're like, well, somebody was like, well, I don't celebrate this. I don't celebrate that. I was like, listen. I don't even have to agree with the holiday, but if somebody has a plate of food, I'm going to eat that bitch. Remember that. Always. If it's good food with hashtag no Reggie Mac, I'm gonna eat it, bro. And I don't even gotta celebrate. Oh, happy Thanksgiving! Right. Thanksgiving, right? Like, I, cause I know exactly what happened to Thanksgiving and Christopher Columbus. I know that too, but I'm still gonna eat this turkey. But like, this country ain't shit, man. Man, this is literally a trap Whatever, house with man. nice blinds. But either way, happy Fifth of May. Anyway, so I just yeah. wanted to say that real quick to start the podcast off. Yeah. Sorry to get a rant on, you know. Bless. Last night. No, nah, we just trying not to get canceled before we get paid. That's all it is. <laughs> no, nah, man, I wanted to show love for real though. That that, that should be acknowledged, and, and more people should talk about that because it's kind of fucked up, man. I'm yeah. reading about it, so yeah. But at the same time, uh, me and Jason Henley have been talking this whole time. We have a reoccurring guest in this bitch, CEO and owner of Dream Major Records and Hood News, uh, Mister Wavy. Hello. New boy genius is in this bitch, bro. Will you be my neighbor? <laughs> <laughs> Will you be my neighbor? Do you have any hood news updates that we need to talk about? Hood news updates. And now to Trey Willis with hood news. Exactly. Reporting live here with hood news, man. Usually, shit, if it's hood news, I'll just say it. But you know what? I can't get nobody no free clout on this episode of Road to Punches. 
So you know what? I'm gonna hold off on my hood news till till something come up, and then we're gonna alert the public. That the, well, I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you. I am gonna talk about a little bit of hood news because me is me and my homie, um, and we was vibing, kicking it, and it was like he came over during the middle of the day, wake and bake session, whatever, and like vibing, just you know. I said, hey bro, I'm gonna need you to make the swirl with me because they have some food to make and yada yada yada. So we walk out the apartment, and there's these geese, like, in front of my apartment. They're in this bitch heavy, like, for real. Um, and what really goes on is we go to Winco. Yeah. And Trey's like, bro, he's talking to the geese. He's like, yo, we're going to bring y'all some bread back. So we, so we get to Winco. I said that. Bro, he said it. You said it. I did. We get to Winco. I get all the things I need except the cheese for the Rotel, which I made later. And as we're leaving, we're driving in the parking lot. <laughs> There's one solid motherfucking goose in the parking lot sitting down. What? Sitting the fuck down they sent in the parking informant. lot. They sent a motherfucking informant to fly over and make sure the bag of bread was secured. It was not thoroughly <laughs> secured. I came back and I was mugged by these geese. Oh, we got, we was got, right we here. Got, we got video <coughs> footage of this guy in the parking lot. They don't have the fucking bread. They don't have the fucking bread. He wasn't oh. even losing this shit. He was like, I'm going to just hold back so the flock don't jump me and shoot the messenger. <laughs> There's no bread coming. <laughs> Panic would ensue. <laughs> Panic would ensue. <laughs> but you, you know what? They didn't attack us when, upon arrival. You know, I'm last Kush Benda. One with the universe and all living things. Nothing to say, bro. Animals don't really rock with like they don't really check me like that. I don't. I don't. I just don't fucking piss them off though. You, you know? blessed. I used to have a lot of issues and trouble. Bad karma. Oh, bro. They yeah. They be nesting wherever. They don't give a damn. Bro, that goose sat in the fuck. Bro, it was a it was a rainy, cloudy parking lot, and fam took a fat ass seat. And said, I'm going to make sure they grab this shit. And if they don't, we're going to fuck them up. We walked back and got mugged, bro. By some geese. By some motherfucking geese. I ain't get punked. I just got mugged. Dude, was Trey, were you there for this? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's what I was just saying. That yeah, sounded like you in the background. This shit was wild. But fuck them geese. Man. Why? Because Jamal the Duck... Is the mascot for Roll with the Punches. So when we have the basketball game in June slash July. You got to mention that. Uh, it's Jamal the Duck. He's the duck with the green top. Green yeah, top. green top duck, man. <laughs> if you see Jamal in the streets, that equals one blunt whenever I see you. If you see Jamal in your streets, you say, what's up to Jamal? Get a picture with him. That equals a blunt the next time I see you. No cap. I'm not going to give it to you because we're going to smoke it. I'm not just going to give you Somebody a blunt. Gonna Fuck that a, part. Somebody going to catch a green top Duck and call you on your blunt. Yeah, like, got yeah. a picture with a duck. He, he don't really like that. Really... It's your third day in a row getting a picture with a duck, man. <laughs> All right, now we're going duck hunting, man, motherfuckers, he, man. He, he, hey, they kidnapped hey. this duck. Q, Q got me on a goddamn duck hunt. Man, now, we got to break, we, we we gotta break him out, with man. I don't think they torturing Jamal. Bro, we literally... Oh, no, 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 no. no. Oh, hey, no, Jamal from Deep Turley. Hey, no, Jamal from Deep Turley. Jamal uh, from up there. We need that one. What's the name? That, what's the name? Of Aflac. Oh, uh, Jamal whooped his ass. Jamal whooped his ass, bro. Oh, no. He beefing with Aflac. <laughs> bro. Uh, faded that man. White Duck got fucking wrecked. Uh, man, man, this <laughs> Jamal was like, <laughs> bitch. This is I'm a real man, duck. Honey. All right, hold on. And I don't give a fuck. Oh, Let me go ahead and give the background. Jamal the Duck started whenever I was living with my homie. And it was like Whole back in December. Yes. Yeah. Oh, for real. Jamal was vibing because it was like back in December. I'm pretty sure the listeners know whenever it was like snowing and shit. Yeah. Like day one, snowing heavy. Everything's frozen over in the pond at the apartment. Next day, it's like the snow has dropped and the water is way more swimmable. Jamal is in there by himself. Oh, shit. Then the day after, that's when the snow was starting to melt. It was still kind of somewhat heavy on the ground. <laughs> yeah. But the sun was out. Jamal had that bitch jumping. He had like 13 geese and like 11 ducks in that bitch. Damn. He scoped what the fuck he was going to do the next day and had a whole party. I have video of this shit. That's why it is the Bill University fighting ducks. 
Why? Because Jamal was trapping three days after a fucking ice and so bro. He was trapping with his niggas. Thirteen geese, eleven other ducks, not including himself. Man. And then, and then homie had these neighbors that like putting out seed and shit. So they had like a little motherfucking water cooler slash feed bag over here for whenever they get tired of swimming and shit. Bro, it was wild than a they bitch. They got to fly south for shit? Nah, fuck it. Let's go to Tulsa. They living. Man. Imagine being a bird. Fuck being a dog. You be a bird, bro. First of all, I be seeing Jamal out front all the time. That's how I know it's real. Shit, if you got stuff to feed them. Oh, yeah, you can't feed bur- ducks bread, I heard, bro. They don't fuck with bread. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Jamal's don't. more of a Philly cheesesteak no, person. That's bad for them. That's bad for them. They, yeah. don't, they don't digest. Bread. Like, ducks can't digest bread because it doesn't, like, do anything in their we stomach. Fuck it. We don't give it to them what fucking are they geese. They're snacking on they bread. Eat, um, man. We're going to give it to them fucking geese. It's cool. Hold on. Fuck them. Sir, so, what do ducks eat? Man, you beat me too. Grasses, aquatic plants, fish, insects, small amphibians, worms, and small mollusks. What the fuck? I was one for six. <laughs> <laughs> they be eating that grass. They be on that grass. Jamal that on that aquatic grass. plants and worms and small fish and all types of fucking animals. Actually, no, Jamal told me that he's actually, uh, he's one with the shits. So, since he's from out north, he actually fucks with Rubicon quite often. Um... He has been. He's been around, but half the time he's not outside because we have, we have squirrels here. He said the motherfuckers move too fast. It's like a little motherfucking Speedy Gonzalez going on. He don't like that shit. He said he, they move too fast for his liking, so he don't pull up all the time. But when he does pull up, that man be bringing his bitches. Oh, you finna have some babies probably soon, man. Spring man, time. Jamal got like twelve kids, but we ain't really out here, you know, speaking on that shit because you know it's not even a downfall. He just don't want to talk about it. But, like, whenever you see it, it's going to be a mallard duck out here. I'm, he don't like mallard either. Jamal just like, he like he actually likes green top. He's just called, you know, Jamal with the green top. He be outside and then be like a little mini, like, it's not, I don't know what kind of duck that is he be walking with, but it's the equivalent of a light skin. And, like, he be walking with that duck. And they be going up the little hill, waddling and shit. He just spin game. Hey, whenever my, hey, whenever my nigga uh, walk out, he left the door open. We go in there in the bed real quick, you know what I'm saying? You get piped, you know what I'm saying? And shout out to my other homie, New Boy Jeans, because he's talking about one slurp, one shirt. These shirts don't fit us. These shirts don't fit us at all, but baby, you can walk around and one like, One slurp, one shirt. Shout That's out to our slogan, and we guarantee, you're in my services, that's your <laughs> services. We will pull up on you. That's what it is. Tiana Trump. We waiting, by the way. You haven't been around for that, but we have been waiting on Tiana Trump to pull up for a long time. Pull up. Like a long time. Pull up on Big Jeans. She actually put some, she actually put a video up the other day that said I'm single. Oh man, man, how grown been saying? <laughs> but that's a different story. I respect. <laughs> what the fuck you just say? I respect. Her, her throat been single? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna get a juice. <clears throat> uh, I'm gonna get a juice. <laughs> Yeah, that's just uh, that's in Tulsa in general. To be honest with you, found that shit out. See, that's what I'm saying. Now you think about it, girls be like, "Oh, girl, hey, just want you to know, babe, this pussy's all yours." But what about your throat? You gotta ask the serious questions in the world. We came out of a year of just like not being able to go out. The first thing they want to do is have a hot girl summer. Bitch, you in Oklahoma? You don't have a summer until like literally July first through like August nineteenth. No, that's the idea of a hot girl. No, summer. fuck that. Actual alcohol, like that is actual alcohol. Can I take a shot of this? Yeah, it's made. It's distilled from potatoes. Is it gin? It is vodka. Oh, it's really good. They have a gin though. Uh, shout out to Josh Skanker. Um, so Henley, what else do we have coming up? Do you have a show? You have any? Oh, I do. I have a show Friday at the Rabbit Hole. Okay. Um, I'm gonna do an opening. I think I'm doing a little set at like ten thirty, ten o'clock, something like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then I'm dropping my album soon. I'm not sure when it's coming out yet. I think it'll be next month, probably. I was gonna do it in May, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna push it back till next month. I feel you. I feel you. Is it good? I don't know yet. 
Oh, what you you asking me for some? Is that what you saying? I might do one with you just because you my dude, but right. Anyway, uh, yeah, man, I'm dropping an album. I'm pretty much fucking done. I got like 13 songs, give or take. I might take take one or two off. I'm not sure yet. But yeah, it's done, man. I want to put it out. Um, mm-hmm. And then after that, I'll be producing for other people, bro, and just doing shit for fun and. I'll make another album probably by the end of the year. That's the goal, but I want to put this first one out. As he knows that before we start these, we'll be on some banger shit and like freestyling and all that. But yeah. the EP is actually one that I've been talking about for a long time. Uh, Daydream of Sunsets is yeah. actually my EP. Very vibeful, very soulful. Um, <laughs> funk is actually making its way. And I'm not trying to make too much funk, but like way more like soul like okay. I don't want to give no artist names because I don't want to be compared to them but like way more just like telling you that I fuck with you the, the long way but then I also know your past like that's sure. no, that's one song then the other song is fuck what you're talking about we vibing I don't care about if you only give me head tonight I don't give a damn if you just only want to just whatever we just vibing if nothing happens I'm gonna vibe Okay. That's literally, you know what I'm saying? That's the vibes, not yeah. fucking these bitches and getting his money. Just, so you have a preconceived no. concept for oh, your yes. song already. Oh, yes. And then you are going to write them. Yeah. yeah, dude, we should get together, man. Okay. It's going to happen. And okay. anyway, just want y'all to know, if anybody needs any help with anything, Jason Henley is that. A man of many versatile things. I, I can do a couple things, you know. <laughs> I don't know, I do a lot. Actually, shout out to you because you, sir... He's the one that actually shot my Roll With The Punches uh, production video. Oh, I thought you were passing. I'm sorry. Um, over here. He's like, actually doing my production for the uh, the pictures and things like that with other guests yeah. very soon. Um, he's doing. He's definitely doing my... Um, he's definitely doing the EP. And honestly, bro, it's just watching you grow versus like going to the same person that's like... Not, he's been doing it forever. Don't get me wrong. Like, shout out to the OGs. But I'm just saying, like, I want to grow with somebody that's... You know what I'm saying? Building. That's building themselves. Like, hey, bro, let's do this, this, and this. Hell yeah. Uh, especially in the photography realm. Like, bro, I fuck with you. Hell yeah, man. You're a good too, dude. Man. You're a solid love, guy. Man. Appreciate that. You too, man. You know what I'm saying? Until I find out that you had like a kitten fighting arena or some shit, then it's like, damn, this man is really dark. Nah. But until, <laughs> but until then, nah, man, I fuck with you. He's a good dude. <laughs> kitten fighting arena. Yeah. No, dude, I love animals. So. Yeah, same. Most bitches do too. I, I want to get a you. dog, dude. No cap. I want to get a Belgian Malinois, bro. A what? A Belgian Malinois. It's uh, like the dogs they use for... It's like a German Shepherd, but it's not. I don't know how to explain it. Hold on. Right. Let's go ahead and get into some segments while you look for that, sir. Yeah, go ahead, man. Uh, by the way, look into the uh, the Hood News search engine. Let me know if it works or not. Hood News search engine? Yeah, just go into the Hood News search One engine. One of these mugs, dog. Oh! Oh, shit! Yeah. Oh! I'm train that hoe. That motherfucker's... What? Train that hoe, yeah. Well, Trey can't come over. No, it's gonna be cool. It's gonna be cool. It's just gonna be intimidating. Trey, do you, <laughs> Trey, do you, wanna, do you wanna explain them or? I just gotta <clears throat> completely mask my fear in that moment. So. No, dude, see, like, it's gonna be like cool with strangers, obviously. I'm gonna have that hoe as a puppy, so y'all gonna know my dog as a baby, but. Yeah. Oh, see, I'm used to people just having grown ass pit bulls. See, I don't want to pit bro. Did you just see what I was showing him? That motherfucker like the name Jerome. He, That's what I'm trying yeah, to Yeah, yeah. Like, I walk yeah. in the house and he'd be like, err, err, and he want to sniff my ass. But I'm like, look, uh, Oscar, <laughs> uh, this ain't that nut sniffing party over her. Dogs be loving to sniff me. I'll be like, man, I know I'm fresh off the shower. Especially Joe Dog. His, his Rome be on my bumper. He be trying to get cozy while I'm sitting on the couch. But he want to get cozy right behind my back. Yeah, right on my ass. He does that I'm to like, me I'm like, yeah. hey, wrong. Uh. <laughs> you close? <laughs> you close? Chill out. Yeah, like, chill out. That, that's my dog. That's my dog. Bro, he gonna get a he gonna get a gold doggy chain one day. <laughs> Bro, but I'm just not as affectionate with animals as most people are, or how some ladies are when they come in and Rome's like, oh, getting belly rubs and all. I, I might time, pat him on the head a little bit, but I'm I I I'll use my hands. I don't want to be biting my nails and then be. I was rubbing on Rome's. Uh, Damn, but we also know who, we also know who Rome's owner is. I'm a drummer father. So Rome's real thing that he wants to do is he, lay on some titties. He, he get all the love he wants. 
He brings he him over. get all the love he wants. You know what? Those. That's crazy. Just now that I think about it, before we get into the segment, this one to two segments, Rome actually is Joe's wingman. Because as soon as they run, oh, I have a dog. He we, loves He loves you. Oh, my God. You have a dog. Blah, blah, blah. Rome laying on the titties before yeah. Joe laying on the titties. Yeah, we, 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 do dog, need a, we do need to over- clarify that Rome is a dog. He is a pet. Yeah, Rome is definitely a pet. <laughs> He's not the homie. Nah, no, he's <laughs> not. He's an animal. He is the homie, but he is not a human. Uh, Rome be doing human like so, shit, though. So, but he will take your. But he's right. It's a wingman, man. If you have a cute dog, bro. But then you teach yeah, the dog bro. how to lay on titties before you lay on titties. He come back, and let you know. <laughs> hey, 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 fam. Hey, yeah, them titties are nice. Go ahead and lay on them tonight, bro. She fucking with you. She fucking oh, with me, so I know yeah, she fucking Rome with you, bro. Rome. Bro, you Rome be on some shit. Rome. Uh, but man, I'm just saying, Rome is cool. But actually, I want to go ahead and get into one segment. One segment right now that I like to call This or That. With This or That, the segment includes, and simply put, This or That. So, okay. Coney's. Okay. Sonic or Coney Island? Coney Islander. What you got, Trey? Uh, I'm going to go with Coney Island. Okay, cool. Burgers. You have. Burger Street? Mm, Too never, expensive. Never been or there. Stay out of the pit. I've never Burger been Street there. or Whataburger? Whataburger. I'm going to go to Whataburger and get some gravy. I f- what? On the burger? No. <laughs> like, God, no. The same for hamburgers. No. Yeah. I, I just get gravy. Specifically, I get what's your preference? Burger Street or no, Whataburger? No. I've never had Burger Street, so I'm going to have to say Whataburger. Okay. Hey, we'll, that, at, at what? Pause. We'll, it pause we'll, in the subject because right now, this is actually going to be a Roll with the Brunch Adventure. We're going to take you on your first time. Let's come back to this one because I'm about to rabbit hole some shit with this gravy. So let's come back. <laughs> I'm just say Whataburger so we can All finish right. this. All right. All right. Fries. Burger King or Raisin Cane's. Fries? Yes. I don't fuck with Burger King, so I, I mean, really don't be eating Burger King. So raisin yeah. Canes, I got yeah, raisin Burger King got the, the buttery wood. fries, from what I remember. I got no, raisin canes real good. In the middle of fire. Right now. All right, cool. Let's go with this bitch. Chick Fil A or, fri- or uh, McDonald's? Overall? Yeah, you got to choose one. Mm-hmm. Waffle fries over. Th- no. Bro, the McDonald's fries. Been okay, that's the only the thing beating Chick Fil A is the waffle fries. Or the regular fries. But you talk about the quality of Chick-fil-A, bro. I'm going to go with Chick-fil-A, bro. Yeah, compared to, to McDonald's. And, 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 my, and, my, shit, my shit be flat. If you get a yeah. burger, it be flat as hell. And overall service at Chick-fil-A be shitting on McDonald's in all, in all ways, bro. They actually talk to you at McDonald's. They Man. just look at you. Dude, dude, honestly, Chick Fil A people almost just fucking hug you as they you give them your food. They're like, you know, you have a great day. We appreciate you, man. This hug, and lady, that's man. how I feel when I leave Chick Fil A. When I leave yeah. McDonald's, bro, they're they're lucky they even say anything when they close the fucking window. Yeah, they they hand you, me the fucking bag give, and they bro, close the window, even dog. If you ask for sauce, <laughs> they, they don't, don't give, give you sauce. You gotta look, hey, make sure you don't oh have sauce. God, then ask them a gift for sauce. Oh you gotta God. hold up the line just to make sure. Hold on, you gotta be waving at the window. <laughs> like, like, hey, hey, oh, hey, God. hey. I don't give a fuck uh, about you. Hey, that rancher barbecue <laughs> sauce that I asked for was not in the bag. They're like, oh my God, I guess. Fuck, he got us. They're like, I guess I'll get this motherfucker some sauce. Jesus. <coughs> this McDonald's I go to sometimes, I really need to stop. I've been doing good for like two weeks. I haven't gone to it. I'm good. But anyway. I've been going to it, man, and he like this dude takes my card every time he be sitting on a chair. Doesn't say a sh- no, a damn word. He didn't even tell me my total. <laughs> Bruh. Give me a goddamn card. Dude, no. It's literally, we, because uh, he knows who I am now. <clears throat> I've been ordering for like, like, I was doing this every, like, every week. I come into McDonald's. I'm like, man, I'm craving a burger. Yeah. I'll pull off. Give me a little cheeseburger. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Get this craving out. Got had a hard day at work. God damn it. Wants McDonald's. Uh. So I'm coming in. Like, bap, order the shit. I'm like, yo, I want like four double cheeseburgers plain. Man. Gotta be plain. If I'm plain, I'm pissed off. I hate the onions in that shit. It's nasty anyway. <laughs> yeah. So, and then mix with that nasty, soggy ketchup they got. Hell, yeah. Yeah. get that That's shit out of here. <laughs> anyway. Hey, the yeah. ketchup. Hey, hold on real quick before you finish. I have to cut you off. Go here. ahead. Go ahead. There's some places that have some loud ass condiments. Yes, I know it sounds crazy. <coughs> but this goes into the Reggie Mac area folder and roll with the punches. Some place, bro, 
goddamn <coughs> Whataburger mm-hmm. and goddamn McDonald's have some loud ass ketchup. Like you can taste that shit yeah. over everything. Yeah. yeah. That shit is loud. Don't know. And they have a specific taste. The spicy right. ketchup. Ketchup, at ketchup. The spicy ketchup actually gives that additional twang. 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 Damn, and spicy cool a, I like spicy yeah. ketchup That's not so bad But the McDonald's yeah. ketchup Specifically Because them motherfuckers Manufacture their own ketchup oh, It's not Heinz man They ain't, they ain't outsourcing Their ketchup anymore man. They have them And you can look in their little bag Or the little packets they have It says a little M logo on it So I mean when you're that big Like McDonald's You can afford yeah. that shit But anyway yeah. Right The shit is ass That's all I was mainly, yeah. mainly Coming to say Was that the shit is terrible do better. You know what I mean? Do it's like better. it's not even like too sweet. I don't even know how to explain it. Do but better. He sees you. Yeah. He get, get, fuck it. Give me yeah. a card. He just yeah. And so he man. so you get to, okay. So I'm sorry. Running this back because I was dying over here. You get to the <laughs> you get, get to, to the, the window, window and this motherfucker is just I hand it to him and he's just like stares at me. I'm just like here you go, man. And he takes it. He didn't like stare at me, but like it was like like just like yeah. He gives me this weird ass look, made me feel really like stupid for ordering McDonald's, and I was like, "Damn, man, I, f- I feel guilty." It made me feel guilty for ordering McDonald's. Like I was like, "This guy hates his life so hard that he just indirectly stared at me." <laughs> anyway, so yeah, he just doesn't say shit to me, and then I get to the other window, and then they don't say shit to me, and I'm like, "Damn, man, they're down bad over here, bro." So fuck the customer and service, we, bitch. You, but see. Crack sells itself. Yeah. That's hey, all I'm saying. Crack got, sells I itself. I got a couple of stink bombs if you want to throw some in the window. Nah, man. Nah. I, I feel bad for McDonald's people because I'm like, damn, that shit probably doesn't pay very well. Cause, and yeah. they got a camera on the drive through so you might go to jail for something. I'm going to be honest with you. I feel like Eugene will fuck around and catch it. It's a stink bomb and it gives him a heart attack. I feel like Eugene gonna fuck around and catch and throw it back in there. Now he can't find <laughs> it in his car. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nah. See, I wouldn't want to risk that. Little do we know, Eugene is ex-military. Special ops. Yeah. He used to do some grimy shit <laughs> back in Korea. <laughs> Eugene's Korean, though. <laughs> nah, he, he's, That's bl- he's, black. he's black. He's cool, though. Oh. I mean, he, he's Oh. Like, Korea, like I said. Grimy shit. Back in Korea. <laughs> he did him in the lots, of, him in lots the of grimy shit. All he can focus Horrible. on is Horrible making sure things. he puts the card in, slide that bitch, hand it back, and all the rest of the That's things he's all he's, he's built about for, is man. All the blood and death he saw in Korea. This is fucking terrible. <laughs> Shout out to Eugene. <laughs> Eugene is a grimy motherfucker. Don't but I say all Eugene. that to say Chick Fil A over McDonald's. We Chick Fil A yes over McDonald's. Chick Fil A over McDonald's. I like the waffle fries. I actually like their honey mustard um, a lot. I'll be going on a tangent. Oh wait, let me give a couple more, please. A couple more for this. Oh yeah, throw, throw another. Uh, Texas Roadhouse Never or Outback. Never oh, that's tough. I'm just saying the cinnamon butter on the rolls. Affordability Texas Roadhouse has got a really strong edge. Yeah, and but cinnamon, cinnamon, cinnamon butter. butter on, come on now, butter is come different. on, bro. Cinnamon butter be over. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna have to go with Texas Roadhouse. Yeah, don't worry, Trey. That's another roll with the punches. I can't, I can't. What are you that, doing tomorrow? I got you. Uh, that's a that's a cheap, not cheap steak, but it's affordable. You know yeah, what I mean? yeah. I've never been to either. Of I got you, sir. What you doing tomorrow? Pull up. You that ribeye, bro. I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. Has Lord not giving you your missions? He gave me mine. Get a fucking steak. Um, no, I actually don't. <laughs> I'm, I'm one of those guys that actually, I'm not a huge steak guy. What? Yeah, what do you I, like? I like? You like pork chops. I don't like pork chops, actually. Um, do you so like chicken? I do, but I, I'm not a huge steak guy. Cutting the steak medium well. You know, I don't really like bloody. I want my steak. <laughs> I'm just like this youth. On the fucking meat. <laughs> no. Shout out to... So, no, man. I ain't trying to suck the blood out of the... Shout out <laughs> to the... <laughs> shout out to Vampire You. Shout out to my boy, but... I didn't know my nigga made them sounds, bro. He, I don't know what the sounds oh, sound like. He, 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 he said I'm not trying to, to suck, know. Dude. I'm mimicking the sounds of, like, <laughs> someone was, like, bloodthirsty. Cannibalistic, like neck biting. 
like like you slurping blood. Like how? What you think it sound like? It sound like when you slurp. Anyways, <laughs> anyways, <laughs> oh, <laughs> anyways. Oh. That's, that's, that's a grown term. This whole out CYA bitch. <laughs> See why I don't need to be in there talking to my outback way. I'd be like, man, I don't want my steak bloody tour. I'm in there like, <laughs> like Tiana Trump on the steak. I ain't trying to be in there like that. But, fucking weak. But, <laughs> you know, I guess overall, I, I say I go to Outback. If it's hypothetical, I'm, I'm going to go to Outback. Hey, man. <laughs> I'm going to do that. So, so we can, we can live. I'm back. All right. We can live. Yo, so like, if you got a steak, you wouldn't have to get a medium rare though, Trey. You can get a well done. No, medium well. Or yeah, well done or medium well, yeah. Is that the same? No. Okay, well done is like all the way cooked through, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then a medium well is where there's like a baby amount of pink in the middle. Mm. But there's no blood. Yeah, I can't If you that. get a rare or like a... Rare is like they... Like, throw it on the plate, of, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like they, bro, they, they gave it a little I gristle, have, and they're like, question, "Here you bro. go, man." I like, have another question now. Yeah, what kind of crazy fucking kleptomaniac goes in the fucking place and wants a bloody? Oh, who does? Who? Um, who? What? Psychological? Who loves that? Rich people. You know, the motherfuckers I, that are in the gas and oil industry and saying, well, <laughs> like, here's what you, I'm going to tell you. you know that we'll order that? Like, here's what I'm going to tell you. As a person know. who's tried low quality steak and high quality steak, not very high quality. I haven't had like, I haven't had like Kobe beef or whatever the fuck. Wagyu? Yeah, what, I've never had like the top, 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 top craziest steak in the world. But I have had some like mahogany shit, okay? Yeah. So like, the difference between that and a difference between like a steak you would get at Texas Roadhouse is pretty fucking crazy. I'm not going to say, yeah. like... It's the preparation versus just throwing a piece of meat on the grill. Well, and the cuts and where they get them from, too. Right. Dude. Like, they have a lot of what's called prime beef as opposed to, like, you yeah. know, like, there's, like, there's different... Sh- I'm not a chef, but I don't know. But anyway, long story short, though, like, when you get into the steak world, that's why it gets, like, bougie and shit is because, like, when you go to those high-dollar places and stuff, you're paying for, like, a really nice, cut, like, cut of meat and, yeah. like... Like, if you get a ribeye with a bone on it, that's, like, one of those ones that's, like, this fucking big and it has, mm. like, a, that has, like, a fucking, I don't know, it's, like, that big and has, like, a leg bone looking thing on the end Yeah, of it's it. kind of like, kind of like the salt nigga. They, they like call them, the salt, they call them cowboy steaks and stuff like that, like, the okay. big motherfuckers with the bone attached. But those, bro, I have one of those, good God, I've never had a steak so good in my life. Yeah. I, it was so tender and so, like beautifully like prepared like he oh. said like it was like on god one of the best meals I've well, had. yeah like yeah. If, if i have to ball out and do it bro i want it i would like to do it right and then not like be gross but see that's what i'm saying bro there's actually some places like texas roadhouse and for you that you, makes it like mm-hmm. actually good like, i get medium very, rare i get medium rare i don't get rare that's the medium rare is the next one up but yeah. For you, I would say like a, a medium well or maybe a medium if you want to try something a little more bloody or whatever you want to call it. Nope. But see, there's not going to be blood. It's just going to be a little more juicy. The reason I like medium rare is because the flavor holds a little bit more. And yeah, it's I not... want it to be like chewy, like... Bro, okay. Fat. Like fat. Hey, like I'm going to put this up on I'm gonna put this up on my social media tomorrow. But anybody that wants to pull the fuck up at like four o'clock tomorrow, I'm gonna take Trey. We're gonna go to Texas Row House and we're gonna have a dinner. Simply because I want my homie to experience some of the somewhat finer things in life. Texas Row House, Texas Row House, excuse me, is one of the finer things in life because that listen, they are what cheddars what cheddars used to be. That's all I'm saying. They are now what cheddars used to be because cheddars is so fucking processed now. All they're good for is their drinks. Damn. It's bad. R.I.P. Cheddars. R.I.P. to motherfucking Man, Cheddars. Let's burn bro. that bitch down. Wait, ooh. Let's burn this bitch down. Bro. Man, brother. Huh? No. No? No. Alright, man. If we're going to burn some shit down. Never mind, man. Never mind. If we're going to burn some shit down, let's burn down T Mobile. Mm. Anyway, Never mind. Never my mind. point being, that's one of them. But then my last thing that I'm going to put together that I need y'all's help on High Snap. 
Are we going to go honey bun or hot fries? Actually, no, because that's, that's very biased in my opinion. Are we going to go honey bun or ice cream when hot? Um, the ice cream definitely takes the cake. The yeah, what, done, what, kind of, what kind of ice cream is it? Maybe five bites. If you what kind of ice cream? cream? No, it's just in general, like your favorite ice oh, cream. Oh, an ice cream, yeah. The ice cream win. Yeah. I'd probably give me some. Gluten, f- gluten for ice cream? Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Some Very pistachio nice. or almond. Dude, I get cookie dough for sure. But see, yeah, I'm, I'm actually an Oreo, Oreo, like cookies and cream. Um, or like tonight, what I'm probably going to do, I'm actually going to go over here in a minute and I'm going to make a milkshake and it's going to have cinnamon toast crunch in that bitch. Oh, that sounds good. It's really quite amazing, to be honest with you. It's not delicious. If y'all ever want to pull up, if y'all ever, ever want to pull I'm up, down, I just want y'all to know I'm here for it because it's amazing. But um, actually, the homies pulled up yesterday. We didn't record. But actually, I was cooking dinner anyway. And the homies got some dinner yesterday. I feed oh, the brothers. Hell yeah. They had they had chicken breast. Right? Shout out to... What is this? Coffee Shop Dude, Radio. I was going to say, this shit is hard. Earlier, there it. was some dope shit on here. Coffee Shop Radio on YouTube. But yeah, the homies yeah. pulled up. Got chicken breast. Some mashed potatoes. Some green beans, and that we was vibing. Good man, I believe you vibing. Slap. But Slap. I'm just saying, um, I have to know these things because I gotta know what to have whenever we're over here. As well yeah, as there's a lot of there's a lot of debate about a lot of these things. I'll pull up and we can just literally cook one, the beats for your shit, man. Man, as soon as I get this album complete, well, and really it's done. I just need to finish the shit up and get the touches on it and talk to my engineer. But yeah, nah, which I'm gonna probably do tomorrow. I'm trying to, but. Yeah. Yeah, let me know though. Yeah, man, we can literally uh, as soon as that gets done, I'm gonna have it ready to put out, and I'm gonna start working with people. So I got you. I'm here for it. Yeah, yeah. Believe me. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up real quick because I had to make this a quick episode. Uh, uh, it's cool, cool, um, cool little time. Can I um, shout? Can I tell the people one thing? Man? Oh, go ahead, sir. Man, I'm out here trying to hit a thousand subscribers on YouTube. Follow New Boy Genius on YouTube. That's my own. and and do something nice today. That's all I got for you. I subscribed. Thank I, you. I, I think I subscribed as well. Man, sure. But yeah, go subscribe. I Barack Obama subscribed last night, so that's yep. going to be major for Because M- MBG be commenting on my videos, so I had to subscribe to my guy. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Hope no, oh, calling any day now. So. Yeah. Yeah. Also, I just want y'all to know, there will be visuals with Roll the Punches very soon, like way more. It's not animated. This is actually going to be just skits as well as our adventures. So I'm probably going to post up. What happens when Trey actually gets his first stick? His first, kind of like whenever baby has his first steps or rides a bike for the first time, I'm about to watch my nigga eat his first bite of steak. I hope my first steak is Yep, we're going to have a YouTube vlog of us going to Texas Roadhouse. We can um, do that. That'd be fun. Oh, yeah, easy. I can go grab the motherfucking camera tomorrow. I got to... Uh, yeah. I gotta go to the studio tomorrow like 7, but we could go if we want to go after work tomorrow yeah. at like 5.36 if y'all want to do it. Shit, bad, bad, bad. I'll be Meet up over there. I'll go there after work. Yeah. No, nah, but nah, I'll be there. Because okay. I, gotta, I gotta let my man. He gotta try that shit, bro. All right, um, but yeah, um, updates that I want to bring up, though. Um, main update that I want to bring up is the fact that, like, I have shirts. I need y'all to buy these shirts. This merch is available, like straight up. If you want to customize it, it's gonna go up from ten to fifteen. But like, outside of that, I need these shirts gone. I want to rep this shit the whole summer. Hey, I'm gonna rep this shit the whole summer. Hey bro, uh, if you just need the shirts gone, I can burn them on. <laughs> Trey, remember last episode we talked about superpowers? I feel like you need to change yours. To for, fire. To fire. No, bro, that means I'll burn some shit <laughs> down for it, bro. I would never, just, never mind. Never, I see, would literally I say, I, I would literally say, hey bro, shit, man. I, I just be read like, hey bro, I need these shirts gone. Oh, okay, cool. Now my shirts is really burnt the fuck up. I can get them gone. Nobody. Two hundred dollars wasted. No one I ever know. I'm, I'm watching seven. this shit burn in front of me. I think I'ma know. They'll never know. It's in front of me, G. Tulsa's last cush been earth, water, air, and fire. And the last one burned up my goddamn shirts. This is the point that I'm making. It makes me angry. But 
I just want to say uh, the Baby Lay tournament was actually very successful. I'm throwing another one. When? Man, I'm making 12 funny, 60 a battle. Do the math. <laughs> <laughs> but where? <laughs> The Beyblade tournament is all you can say. I dropped the longitude, latitude, the night of the battle. So, that's what we're saying. Go subscribe and follow New Boy Genius. So, you pull up to the Beyblade tournament. Hey! Get no location, practicing angles off certain (laughs) note. You figure it out when we get there. Because I'm in that bitch. Dragon! I'm in that motherfucker. 12 seconds into the battle, I'm pulling out my little spirit deity out of my Beyblade. I'm talking about let it rip. We going. He don't know what's coming in. I'm like, I got you, bitch. Drag. I got you, bitch. So I was knocking motherfuckers out of that motherfucking motherfucker. Bing 60. Bing 60. Bing 60. Bing 60. Drag. I lost my voice doing that shit. City boys up 1200. Man, I'm dropping the longitude latitude. Nigga, we're going to be at Turkey Mountain next week. I'm going to drop the randomest longitude latitude. You better show up. Be there or be square. I just want to know who the field maintenance crew is to make these. You know, because like in the show, there's these big ass oversized domes. Mm-hmm. Huge ass stadium steps to get into these bitches. And then whenever one knocks the other one out, hey, are you doing like the 60 foot drops or the 70 foot drops? I don't know what you're talking about. Like, whenever you knock them out of there, like, it goes up in the air about 60, 70 feet. Oh, shit. Ask the losers. <laughs> My shit wasn't doing that. My shit was being knocking that shit out of it. Whoa, who dropping bombs? Come you, on, motherfucker. This, Hold on. Yeah, damn it. Situation in Bogota as violence continues. Man, they dropping bombs in the streets. Well, not bombs, but they drop. It's flames in the streets of Bogota. Wasn't I just talking about burning shit down? Is that Colombia? Colombia. Yeah, they going crazy, though. Uh-oh, man. We going to pray for Columbia and Bogota. Dang, they in there, motherfucker. Burn the shit down. Yeah. I need to be in Bogota with the gang. Nah, dude, they're getting shot. I have my Venezuelan chick. No, bro, bro. They're, like, literally locking people in buildings and shooting them and shit and, like, doing horrible things. Damn, this world, man, is in flames. No mm-hmm. one is... I'm done, man. It's wild shit. It's this sick. world, man. I'm praying for It's hood news. It's hood news, everybody. Um, I can't believe... My homies out here beating the fuck out of people, and I wasn't invited. And Beyblade. Like, I knew it was successful because I'm watching everybody walking away, smiling and shit. Yeah. Funnel cakes. I'm going to tell you. Fucking something. lemonade and shit. Like the, like the, town, like the Tulsa yeah. County Fair. I'm going to tell you a secret. Everybody coming in with their $10 Beyblade. <laughs> I, I got a remote control on them. I can switch the spin cycle. That's what I'm telling you. I'm knocking these things up 12 seconds. Drago! <laughs> Reverse the spin cycle. <laughs> they spending 10. I'm spending 98 plus. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, anyways. Get paid. Anyways, yeah, that's a get tip. Paid. And they only know. Get paid. They only know how to win in this Beyblade game against Big Genius if they watch. I mean, if they listen to Raw with the punches. The only way it's going to be. <laughs> Bruh. Uh, well, thank nah. y'all for having me, man. I appreciate it, man. For sure, was, that's exactly what I was trying to close out. Thank you. Um, it's been another another episode of Roll with the Punches. Um, yeah. Yeah. Shout out yeah. to Jason Henley. Shout out to New Boy Genius. Uh, shout soon. out to Kareem. Kareem will be on the next episode. Please come back when Kareem is here, because I swear to God, you're gonna all oh, you gonna laugh, bro. Hell yeah. That man talking about he said that gay dude said so you like to dilly. <laughs> oh, it was yeah, funny. Uh, just, uh, you know, the last episode. This episode I just uploaded a couple of days ago. So you like to um, this is this is what did you call it, bro? This uh, is a test. This is a test, according to New Boy Genius. You know, are you gonna succumb to peer, peer pressure, pressure to hit this lick? <laughs> Believe me, just go watch the last yeah, episode. It's funny. To it. I gotta listen it's to been listen real. It. It's been really yes, real sir. with my boys. Yes, sir. Um, Good times, man. Last statement. Mm. Don't be no punk because OGs don't like that shit. Keep it groovy. <laughs>